All right, so um, I'm going to go to a uh, step three. That's not always uh, a part of step three, but the way I'm uh, trying to set this up is that, you know, I'm doing this for uh, multiple different roof types and roof shapes for um, each class. And um, so I'll do like a hip series after this, which actually is quite a bit easier. But I've got a ton of stuff, so that's why I have all of these different elevations. Um, and floor plans up here, um, but I've got so much now, I don't really need all of this, okay? Um, so in checking that, you know, I want to go ahead and make sure I have one that is uh, completely correct and finished, um, which I can look at these, and I remember I had to do some kind of wall change or whatever uh, over here, but as I look at this, this, uh, this one looks to be completely correct, and when I look here again, I've pulled all of my locations uh, down to uh, from the elevation portion of the roof up to the actual roof plan itself. Um, so that being said, I want to go ahead and make sure I take a keeper and um, go ahead and copy it. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over to my drawing because some changes have been made uh, here within the drawing, with the, which is on the building site. So I'm going to just go ahead and erase that. And I'll go ahead and put this one in place. So, you know, periodically you want to obviously get organized a little bit. Um, so I'm going to come up here. And again, I don't need all of this now. I don't need a floor plan per elevation at this point. This one that I have right here um, will suffice. Uh, so the way I have all of these rotated, really not completely necessary. And um, I can just completely wipe them out. Okay. Um, the next thing I did, and I kind of fast forwarded it, was I took the roof plan here that I derived from the elevation when I created the roof, and I moved it over here. Um, and in doing so, then I can really quickly and easily create a foundation plan. And a foundation plan is, is, is fairly simple, uh, because all I have to do now is close my roof layer so I'm just going to turn it off um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my combination of my fillet tool and extend um, to go ahead and hey John how are you uh, I'm just going to use a fillet tool and a combination of trim and extend to go ahead and um, make these things uh, whole okay um, I've seen a lot of times students will come down and they'll draw a line between here and here. Uh, you don't want to do that. Okay, you just want to go ahead and use extend and shoot those lines over to where they belong. Same thing right here. This is almost a better example. I don't want to go ahead and fill in the blank. I want to go ahead and extend this over. Okay, um, since it is an elevation plan, so here's a place where I need to do a fillet. Uh, wait a minute. No, I don't. I need to get rid of everything that's a part of this. In this, I need to extend down to here and here these two lines. Okay, so you can see just how simple it is. And as I'm doing this, I can also not a bad idea first is to erase the the guts, the interior walls, out of the object um, because when you do so, what you're going to see is little things like this. Right, it didn't grab that piece of interior wall. And that then becomes its own little line segment, which I don't want. So I want to go ahead and extend that. And same thing right here. Okay, so these didn't need to be there. This doesn't need to be there. And that's going to create a gap. When I erase this, it'll create a gap right here, which we don't want. So we'll go ahead and erase that and erase that. And again, I can just do fill it, cruise around the corner, and then extend again. Shoot those over that way. This one wanted to grab and go out to that column. And uh, let's see, what else do I need? That This one can go away. And this one can go away. And I can fill it again. Go right around here. That should turn the corner for me. And again, this one can go away. And I will fill it one more time. And there I have my foundation plan. 
Okay. Uh, foundation plans come in all kinds of, so I don't need this now. That's a goner. Um, and I'm going to copy this foundation plan, bring it over, and I'll turn my roof layer back on. And I should have a roof on both of them, but I only need a roof on one. I only need the foundation plan on this one. Um, I'm sorry, on, the, on one. Um, again, where my floor plan is here and it's showing the roof over the top of it, like in this one, that's not going to be the case. So uh, when I'm all said and done, I will go ahead and uh, erase those um, or erase, turn off, I'll turn off the layers um, inside and I'll delete the roof over it. So all you'll see is, is this. Um, and then it's probably a good idea as well uh, at a certain point to go ahead and make yourself a copy because you know that you're going to have dimensioning to do. So in this case, you know, just getting yourself set up for that, you might want to go ahead over here and not a bad time to do this right now um, would be to then go ahead and start deleting out the things that are on the inside of the house, um, the blocks and things like that. You don't need any of this, right? So the blocks can go away because you're not going to need any of that when you start dimensioning the home. Um, and uh, you might also save one uh, because what I do on the presentation, so the difference between a dimension floor plan and a presentation floor plan, this is what we would call a, a presentation floor plan. This is what the homeowner see. Uh, the plumber, electrician, HVAC guy, they don't need to see that you have a 72-inch dresser right here, um, they would, I still always include it because they can use it for reference um, when they're, if they, when they do have some, some freedoms to, to place um, light switches and things like that. Like a lot of it's bound by code. Building code might say you have to have a, a light switch three feet off the inside corner um, of every wall, which might put you, you know, right here or whatever. But <clears throat> if I had some freedoms, I might want to go ahead and put a um, or I'm sorry, I was talking about a plug, but I might put an outlet right here in the middle of the bed so that a person's lamp can plug in from here and plug in from here. Um, and the same would go for, for over here. Um, you know, where is a person going to put a television? So the, the contractors will um, think about things like this and, and take it into consideration. But again, the contractor doesn't need to see um, the washer and dryer to know, you know, what size the room is, just like the foundation person doesn't. Really, the only thing the foundation person might need to see would be plumbing locations. Um, so, which you could add to that, but we're going to keep it simple in here. So, this was really just about um, taking, again, the roof plan that you've been able to to extrapolate from, the, from planning the roofs on the elevation view, and then coming up here um, to do some neatening and everything else. Okay. And I don't think I need to guide anyone through, um, you know, what, what you need to do in order to, uh, start wiping out blocks and, and things of that sort. So, um, anyhow, that's it. And, um, you know, just get ready early and organize as you go so that you can have these things in a row. I'm going to come back on the next video and we have two roof things that have not happened yet. Um, so they will affect something up here. So I probably jumped the gun because I'm going to have to realign this. Well, I can, I can still do it over this roof, but I have a shed roof that has to happen uh, right up here. Okay.